G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. Well today we're going to continue on with our fencing project. Uh, last time we got all the holes dug and the post sitting in there. Today we've got to concrete them in, put the top rails on and put that mesh on. So, going to be fun, we'll get into it. So we have all these posts concreted in. We'll just give them a couple of days, let it set nice and hard, and then we can continue on. And get this back fence done and then continue with the side and everything else we gotta do. But now we're getting there, bit by bit. there and we've cut the tops of those posts down I've been over there and I've measured the spacing between each of the posts so I can measure out and cut my top rail and I've found I've not measured correctly when I've dug those post holes or I've made a mistake somewhere because two of them are longer than the post rails I'm using so one is 2430 and the other is 2425 and I've just measured all of these and they're all about 2410 so I'm, so I'm about 15 to 20 mil shorter than what I need to be. So I can work around it because either side of it, I can just lengthen those and make it work. It's just not ideal, um, but that's all right. I'll learn from that. So with the others, we'll just make sure we'll measure them correctly and make sure they're not longer than two four zero zeros. Anyway, we can continue on. I've got the 11 rails that I need now that I'm gonna use. So we can cut those down to length and notch them out. I've picked the worst ones around so that again I can use up the worst stock that I've got right up the back. Uh, so we'll continue on, we'll get these done and get them installed.
uh, measure up for this mesh and work out how, long, how much we need. So I'll show you what we're doing. So I'm going to run the mesh from, attach it just to this wire mesh and then onto our post and then all the way down here. We'll grab a tape measure and measure this and see how much we need and roll the mesh out and go from there. We've run our tape measure out and we've got just over 25 meters here. So we will go and measure out our wire, cut that, and we'll be good to go. going to tie that roll back together now and I'm just using the paper that came with it but I've just put on there how many meters are left and so I'll just leave this on the end here um, but with it and that way I know how many meters I've got left on the roll and I don't have to try and remember because um, I'm sure as time goes on I will forget how many meters I took off it and because I've got two rolls I'm using for fencing the property I don't want to mix them up either and have other joins that I don't need to so simple easy thing but something to remember at this point Just getting ready to tension this up so we can attach the staples and hold it up there. And so what I've done is I've got a rotor here to ratchet it up. I'm just going to attach it to the tow bar of the car, ratchet it up nice and tight, and away we go. So we'll put these couple of slings around here and see how this goes. I just move the car over a little bit further. Hopefully that's enough. Let's see how we go. Okay, so we've got all those staples on holding that mesh on. So we'll release the tension, trim this off, and this fence is done. So let's see how we go here. If I remember which button.
here's the fence, all done. Really happy. Looks quite good. Keep learning things, so uh, yeah, very happy. Back fence is now done. Well, that's it. The back fence is now done. We're right to continue on with the next bit. But that's all we've got for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe to the video. That would be great. Catch you next time. God bless.